Hello, YouTube. It's from the bedroom here. You guitar junkie. I feel terrible that I had a top nine guitars with my Holly Benton collection, and I left out this one here. This one here. It could have been top ten. I forgot all about it. Why? Because I can't use a tremolo arm because of my shoulder, and it was in a case tucked away. So I feel terrible. And terrible, terrible, terrible thing. So this is the, uh, this is, would be <laughs> my number one. If I had to take one guitar and keep only one guitar out of all ten, I'd have to take this one. Just because it's so freaking cool. LP style with a Floyd Rose, okay. 24 frets. Can't go wrong. So, uh, due to my blunder. I'm just gonna rock out with this little baby and uh, this goes out to all the guys that love a Les Paul LP single cut guitar with a Floyd Rose. And let's rock it out with some, uh, what do you call this? Uh, um, Hocus Pocus, but this is a backing track from Gary Hoey, which I got permission from personally. And I'll just, I'll, I'll explain that afterwards, because I want to get something off my chest anyway. So let's give it a shot. <laughs>
You know, I shouldn't have used the tremolo bar. As soon as I did, man, now my oh, my shoulder is is aching. Well, just to prove it, <laughs> I got a scar from here to here. Fourth surgery in August, and it's still still healing. But so that's the excuse I'm going to stick with as to explain why I messed up on my plane. Um, yeah, I could do it better. But it's one take beanie, right? So, uh, the Gary Hoey thing. Um, like I said, I've been very fortunate to meet and greet and be friends and hang out with a lot of um, professional, well-known musicians in my lifetime. Probably if I added them up, more than 20. And, um, you know, my heroes, from meeting my hero, Richie Blackmore, to hanging out with Eddie Van Halen, um, so on and so forth. And uh, one of my friends, I'm not going to drop his name, um, he's got a, he's got a band. He's also got, like everyone else, he's got, you know, a music store, and he's got a gun sh store. Two and one, and uh, when I was, I was I was friends with him, and uh, when I was planning on leaving Long Island, New York, um, he wanted me to come work for him at his store because I know about guitars and drums and bass, and uh, I know about shooting because I've been a shooter. I've worked um, on security in the um, private sector for years. Anything from protecting the perimeter of a building, armor car, uh, being an army car, captain of an army car route, all the way to bodyguard work. And um, so he kind of figured I could work both ends of the store, whatever I wanted. He also sent me comps on neighborhoods uh, that, that surrounded his area and how much the houses were uh, to try to entice me to come there. Uh, but I went to Florida instead. And um, because I'm friends with him, he's friends with everybody else that's well known. Um, Billy Gibbons and, and Santana and those are the two that are big names that are popping into my head right now um, and uh, he's got someone from another famous band that, that plays in with his band I can't think of his name um, and uh, he, cause, because I'm friends with him then I get friend requests from other guys because they see that him and I have a conversation going and uh, they figure well this guy's okay and uh, that's pretty much how I become friends with them uh, on Facebook. And one of them is Gary Hoey, because uh, Gary Hoey, he's opened up for Gary Hoey. And they, or they, shared, they shared a stage, um, both bands were playing. I don't know, you know, who went first. Um, so I became friends with him on, on Facebook, and we were going back and forth and, and messaging. And, I did a video of me playing that backing track because that's his backing track, the one that he came up with um, for um, whatever the hell that was again. I can't, I can't remember. That's how quick my memory is going. Hocus Pocus, I think it was. Focus by Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus by Focus. <laughs> See what I mean? So, uh, you know, um, I sent him the video of me playing it and he was like, oh, cool. he was cool with it. So. Because I know of the infringement on copyright, you know, BS on uh, YouTube, you know, I made sure I made that perfectly clear whenever I put me playing to his backing track. So that's that. Now, the thing I want to get off my chest is... <laughs> Damn, I was upset about something yesterday. Someone, uh, someone again, uh, left a, 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 a comment that um, I don't see it now. I think I think after I replied to it, um, they may have deleted it. I don't know, but uh, it set me off about about something with you know. I forget what it was. Damn it! But <laughs> I was pretty pissed yesterday. <laughs> Damn, I can't remember. Um, 
Yeah, because I've been, I've been, in, I've been. Someone has mentioned that you know my sound is like crap, and my amp sounds like a toaster, and the levels aren't right, and they can't hear me when I speak, and um, you know. Uh, well, I thought that would trigger, but apparently it didn't. So, again, that's uh, see too many times going under anesthesia. They say it gives you gray hair, but I think it, I think it just starts to suck memories out of your brain. <laughs> yeah, that's just me. So yeah, what we have here is a Holly Benton single cut, um, custom. It is a SC custom line, Floyd Rose. Yeah, coil split, never use. Um, with Grover, original Grover tuners. On the 24 fret, this was the baked maple uh, that they dye black. That just looks awesome. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. And I uh, <laughs> wish I remember what I wanted to say, but it's gone. It's no retrieving it, so have a good day and a better tomorrow.